All right, today we are painting this beautiful scene from uh, one of my students, a, a photo she took. And we are just figuring out the layout. I've already done a, a value sketch. Which I will uh, insert here for you to see. Right now we're just working on a uh, placement of everything. So I've looked here, I start um, usually in the background. So I've placed in this bank right here. And as you can see, it comes out, then it juts back in. There's a little area back here, and then it comes back out again. And this is all foliage. So we'll just give it the illusion of knowing that we need to put foliage in there. Okay, and it's this is all kept very light and very loose. Over here we have some trees and they are we're just going to give the impression that those are there. And then we're not going to uh, go into detail here. This is just a big mass, so we're going to see that as a mass of trees. And then we're going to put some more in here, maybe like that. And then we'll have this mass come down like this because this tree is going to come in the center here. I started the rocks down here. Basically, the way I do this is I take my proportional divider and I decide if this is going to be a 9 by 12, which this is, and my uh, photo is an 8 by 10. So I figure which I measure this as far as I can go and then I find the closest notch that matches the same uh, proportion and so I'll use I'll place my um, I'll place it there and that's how you use this and then you can roughly judge and always using this as your measuring tool and this for this as you can see they're different so I would use this to get roughly a um, landscape but I've, I've shortened it a little bit because I want the impact of the uh, painting to be this this beautiful foreground with the rocks under the water and the tree so I've actually pushed my horizon line a bit higher but you can measure all along here you can measure about the size you want the rocks so that's roughly where I want my rocks to stop there and then you don't have to be so precise with landscapes. Landscapes are very forgiving. So I'm roughly going to put that tree in and just take it on up and see where it kind of goes here. And it will jut out here and then follow that all the way up. And you can always change this if you um, decide you don't like the composition you don't like the shape of the tree you can do whatever you want as far as that goes just as long as you have some space in here so that you get the illusion that your tree is um and you don't ever want the even though it looks like this part of the tree is larger than this part of the tree uh, it will skew your um, perception and judgment and it will your your eye will read that something's wrong if that's the case so I don't ever make sometimes we have to correct mother nature okay and just make it a more pleasing composition so and then we look where compared to our horizon line this limb is coming out so here's our horizon line so we'll push pull this limb out here and it goes all the way across the page so with a sweeping motion we'll do that always realize that at the this part of the limb is going to be wider and it's going to ta taper as it goes up so we'll start that and it can be rough and gnarly it makes it look more authentic just keeping it smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes up maybe a little even a little smaller when it comes to that point point. and I'm drawing this right on my paper but if you want to um, if you want to do a sketch and then transfer it that's probably the best way to do it I'm just um, I've already done my value sketch so 
So here we have another limb. Okay, here's this one coming out here a bit higher. We have another limb coming out here. And it's way up here. So it's going to go here and kind of curve out of the picture. So let's see if we can make sense out of that. Make that a little wider. Let's make that a little narrower. And just remember, I'm sketching with a darker pencil so that you can see this, but just always make these very light, these sketches. And you don't really have to put all these limbs in, but if you need a reminder, that you've got limbs coming in here. Just to remind you, And let's bring a limb coming from this one all the way down through here. These limbs always give nice perspective. Okay, and then we'll put all this foliage in later. You don't really need to draw all that in. It just it, it makes for too many um, lines in your photos. I mean, in your painting. And where the limb meets, you have to uh, define that edge always, even if you don't see it in your um, photo. All right, so I'm just going to continue working my way up the bank here and putting in just shapes for rocks. They don't have to be precise, and you don't have to spend a tremendous amount of time on this. Just getting something in here that will read as rocks laying on top of each other. And right in here, we have these pretty little grasses. I'll just put those in. They are behind the tree, so we'll make sure they go behind the tree. Just a reminder that they're there. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do these rocks in here simply so that when we get ready to paint, we remember they're there. And all these spaces in between these rocks where their shadows are, are gonna be dark. So there's a lot of darks in here and I'm not gonna sketch them in with the pencil, but we're gonna remember that they're there. I'm gonna put this one odd little rock. We're gonna to have to put those under the water. So that's gonna be kind of fun. I'm gonna put that one up under there. And not a lot of them, just a few up under the water there just to give us the illusion that they're under the water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sketch off this in real quickly. And we don't have to fill this whole space, we just have to fill it with some kind of shapes and vary your shapes, your sizes. Some rocks are round, some are square, some are flat. Some have faces on them, like see how the shadow, that one is, has a shadow here and it actually has another top there. That's how you make these look believable. I'll just kind of throw in some here and there. Looks like there's some round ones over here. Just kind of laying in here. We don't want them all to be round though. There's a nice big one down in this corner, little, that'll anchor this corner. I like that. And if you don't see any that, um, if you don't see something you like, just make it up. So I think it'd be nice to have larger rocks right in this corner back here. So we'll make a little of those, make those a little bit larger, some smaller. And this is this is just kind of how I do it. Okay, but we don't want it too busy. It, this is very busy, and this is our foreground, so we do want to reflect. Um, some of the busyness that's going on in here, but we don't want this to be over to hold your eye here permanently. So let's put that round boy in. He's kind of cute. All right, so just knocking around, and the bigger the shapes, the uh, easier it will be to draw them. And if you notice, they're all going different sides, shape, um, directions. So none of these rocks are in the same direction. So you, one thing you don't want to do is to make anything very uniform here. We're going to connect all these as we go along. 
And I'm going to leave a, a space in here that kind of rests the eye. We're just going to make this very dark in here, just so that this, is, this isn't all the same. So we'll go down here and we'll put a bigger rock there with a face on it. Any part of the, um, the shape of the rock that's facing the sun, if it is a flat plane, it's going to have highlights and underneath it's going to be dark. All right, I have decided I'm going to go ahead and lower this horizon line because I think I just like um, this look better. So, um, simple as this. Just taking this one out. I think that's going to be better. And then just putting the bushes up in here, some trees up in here, and a couple bushes up in there, and a bunch of trees over here. Which just this to remind me that they're here. And then these bushes in front are going to be much darker. And they kind of go and traper off, if you can see right here. And then they're this one is in front of this one, so we'll do some of this back behind here, like that, and we'll stagger them when we get to that point. All right, so I like that better. And then there's a bunch of trees up in here. That's a mass of trees, that's not one big tree. And they go all the way up in here. And I want to make this mass a little higher there. All right. So there you go. There is our, actually, this actually continues back behind here. So I think I'm just going to roll that right into that. And we'll just remember that this is a separate area right here. And I'm not going to draw in these reflections because we'll just add those as we go along. And if you notice our horizon line, this actually does trend down just a little bit. There's some trees over here. Okay. All right. So there's our sketch. All right. So we will get started on laying in the colors for this. And I'll be back.